He's big overhand right, right on the temple. As he pulls straight back, and the pressure coming from Better BF all night long. We have to get our damage. Oh, and you can see people thinking to himself, I still have a shot of the knockout. You can just see it in his face. It's a stoppage. Dimitri. Hey Ringsiders, what is going on? This is your host, Boxing's Objective Observer, and welcome back to Ringside Stories. Or if you're new, we make content regarding boxing through mini documentaries, backstories, previews, and much more. So if you enjoy that type of content, feel free to subscribe, thumbs up, and hit that notification bell for the latest here on Ringside Stories. Thanks so much for your consideration and support in advance. Look at him go! Trying to come over the top with the right hand. That's it. 14 and 0 with 14 knockouts is number 15 in front of him. They are still undefeated, ruling a division which up until recently was shrouded in obscurity. Yet two recent performances added some intrigue to the simple question: If Dagestan's own Artur Biaterbiev and his countryman Dmitry Bivol would face each other in the ring today for all of the titles and glory in the light heavyweight division, who are you picking? Better be is a little bit different. I've sat and watched this guy. I've called his fights. I've studied him. He throws his body into every punch. Like he's he's physically a hard man. He's strong, but he hits extremely hard. He doesn't even have to hit you clean. He can graze you, and you can have problems. But he's also an underrated boxer. He ball is a, a very tough matchup. Having that strong foundation, amateur pedigree, also having an educated jab and footwork, in and out footwork. That's going that can keep better be of off balance. Who would I favor right off the gate? For me right now, without looking at film. I'm gonna say, my favorite B-ball, slightly. Dimitri Bivo shocked many when he thoroughly outclassed Mexican superstar Saul Canelo Alvarez on Cinco de Mayo weekend 2022. And still, the WWE World Champion of the World, Dimitri Bivo! Just over a month later, countryman Artur Biaterbiev defeated tough Joe Smith Jr. to add the WBO world title to Biaterbiev's light heavyweight collection so far. And whatever game plan he had went out the window and he accepted the fact that he was going to get knocked out. That's the kind of power that Arthur Better Biev has. Now at the moment, Arthur Biaterbiev lays claim as the number one light heavyweight, coming fresh off a win over Joe Smith Jr., adding the WBO title to his WBC and IBF world titles on top of being the Ring Magazine slash Lanil light heavyweight world champion. He's such a quiet destroyer that you forget the guy exists. He's sort of the boxing equivalent of Khabib Namagamero. I just want to mold people. This is what I want to do. Maybe I have to stay humble, you know, but tonight I have to a little bit smash these guys, give these guys back because these guys talk too much when I'm injured. Tomorrow night I'm gonna smash your boy, guys. I'm gonna smash your boy. How do you think that fight plays out between you and Bivol? I don't know, it's like, but I mean, we have to, we need this fight, I think so. Of course, I believe only my boxing skills. If I took the fight, uh, I, uh, I know, I believe, I don't know, I believe I can win. Do you knock him out? I don't know. Dimitri Bivo has made a total of nine world title defenses of his WBA strap, even though he was elevated to super halfway through that process. Dimitri Bivo holds a win over veteran Sullivan Barrera. Hard hitting Joe Smith Jr. and former Lanil slash Ring Magazine light heavyweight champion of the world, Jean Pascal. Doesn't matter who wanna fight me first, I'm open for every one from uh, light heavyweight division top 10 fighters. I'm open. Я открыт к любым этим поединкам, то есть я приветствую любой. Artur Pieterbiev made six successful title defenses, including two world title unifications. The first being against then undefeated WBC world champion at 175, Oleksandr Gvozdik. This is the right hand to the body. It's a signature punch this round. Artur Pieterbiev, 14 and 0 with 14 knockouts, is number 15 in front of him. Gvozdik was an Olympic bronze medalist in the 2012 London Olympics, and as a pro, stopped 14 of his 17 opponents. Against Pieter Bief, 
Gvostek was doing well until the WBC champ got dropped thrice and eventually stopped in round 10. At the time of the stoppage, two of the judges had Oleksandr Gvostek winning the fight. Since the Pieterbiev loss, Oleksandr Gvostek has effectively retired from the sport of boxing. Another notable victory came in September of 2014 when Pieterbiev destroyed former IBF light heavyweight champion of the world, Tavoris Cloud, inside two rounds, which was Pieterbiev's sixth pro fight. I think he's going to sit this one out, and Tavoris Cloud is down and out. And speaking of second round stoppages, Beterbiev was the second yet fastest man to ever stop Joe Smith Jr. Still with a minute and a half to go after it. Another right hand. Uppercut. Big uppercut. He is stumbling and this is over. Bivol outskilled and outboxed the common man. Timing and the pop behind it. Unless something significant changes. Bivol is a hungry lion. Bivol is a solid 175 pound strong fighter, and I think he's in his prime. Bumps you off balance. Then when he gets in the inside, he's mauling you. He's mauling you in the inside, getting control. And then when he's punching, he's not floating up. It's just doom, 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 doom. Just short, quick, accurate shots in the inside, man. Tough to deal with. Yet Derbyev proved to be versatile, showing he can fight on the back foot, piecing up Joe Smith Jr. with precise counter punches. Here, closing seconds. Oh! Off balance and scores the knockdown, does better be He will fought his game for all of 12 rounds. Joe Smith Jr. couldn't keep up with that and got visibly frustrated. Both Dimitri Bivo and Artur Bieterbiev beat the same man in their own unique ways. Bivo versus Bieterbiev is Crawford Spence at 175. It's so close to 50-50 to me. And I can see the same thing with Bivol and, B and better be a, where one guy one round decides he wants to box. The other guy's gonna say, okay, I'm gonna try to do the best I can to, to apply some pressure and, and completely flip the game. I do see that being like a back and forth. Who would I pick today? I don't know. So how do these two undefeated world champions in the 175 pound division stack up to each other. Better be even people. Uh, first of all, it's a battle of two Russians, so it would be like a little civil war there. You know, it would be the unification for the light heavyweight title, so we would have yet another chance to see a unified, uh, undisputed world champion out of weight class. I would pick Bivol to win. I think Bivol has the style, the amateur pedigree to match better BF. He's got the mentality. He showed that against Canelo. Smart, on the outside, consistent. It'll be very interesting to see. Better to be, to be honest, he's the toughest one out of them. If I would go up to 175, I'd want to dip my feet in, you know, before I before I dive in with Bird B. You know, I want to fight somebody else before Bird B. Because I feel like Bird B. Is, is a real deal at 175. Yet that BF is front foot heavy, fully action packed, yet has proven to be able to fight off the back foot when needed which is proof of his ability to switch tactics and his ring IQ. As an amateur, Bieterbiev has fought the likes of Sergei Kovalev, Michael Hunter, and Oleksandr Usyk. And looking at his accolades, Artur Bieterbiev was a more decorated amateur than Bivo. Bivo, on the other hand, is a savvy, calculated operator, a true boxer puncher with a vast amateur background of close to 300 fights. Bivo has sublime ring IQ, formidable footwork, shoots a piston-like jab, is accurate, and can fire off quick combinations. Defensively sound, Bivo is in his absolute prime. So what is the historical significance of a potential Artur Bieterbiev versus Dimitri Bivo title fight for Undisputed? Well, the 175 pound division has a long history and a long line of sublime boxing world champions. Last undisputed light heavyweight champion of the world was Roy Jones Jr., who held the throne between June of 1999 and February of 2003, before Superman moved up to heavyweight, doing the unthinkable, beating WBA heavyweight world champion John Ruiz to collect a world title in Jones's fourth weight division. So it's been almost 20 years since we had an undisputed best in the 175 pound division. And with two undefeated world champions with two opposing styles, since Canelo will be facing Gennady Golovkin for a third time, the Bivol Canelo rematch is put on hold for now. I got this opportunity to fight against the best guy 
Uh, and uh, my dream is uh, to be the undisputed champion. Would you like Bebo down the line? Yes, because they talk always like they want to fight, they want to fight for next. Okay, let's do it. Since both champs want undisputed, knowing that Biaterbiev is in his late 30s, why not make Bevo versus Biaterbiev now? It is the division's most significant and intriguing fight to make. So if the fight for undisputed happens between Artur Biaterbiev and Dimitri Bevo, who are you picking? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this kind of content and you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe, give a thumbs up, and hit that notification bell. It helps the channel out a lot, i.e. inspire us to make more quality content for y'all. As always, thank you so much for your support, and welcome to Ringside Stories. Now, if you've done that already, you're amazing. We already know that you are the true undisputed world champion. Till next time, Ringsiders, this is your host, Boxing Subjective Observer, with Ringside Stories. Thanks for watching, and have a legend. Derry Day.